yeah I'm trying to show you what I do kind of it's never really a true insight because obviously I can't share everything I have to blur stuff out etc but um, I'm gonna do my best to show you a day in the life of a year four Australian school teacher enjoy Down and underneath the Eiffel Tower. A Friday night kick back on the couch with the TV dinner. A cafe corner booth with a paper cup of coffee. It don't matter where you are as long as you're with me. So get these lights down, roll the music soft and slow. Good morning guys, welcome back to the vlog. My name is Sarah from Teachers Happy. As you may know, because you've been following me for a long time, you follow me on Instagram, or maybe it's your first time here, welcome to my classroom. I'm starting to pack up for the end of the year because we are moving into a new building, which means I'll be in a brand new classroom. Um, so I thought I would give you a quick, like, room tour even though I'm packing it down and this isn't going to be our room anymore, but a very, very late room tour. So that's something I'm going to do today. I'm going to do like a bit of a day in a life. I've done lots of like week in a life, but I'm trying to just focus on like one day. It's already been really busy. Um, as you would have seen me getting ready this morning really quickly, hopping on the train and coming all the way to school. Um, as you know, I live about an hour and a bit now. I, I do live a bit closer now. I have recently moved, but I live about an hour and a way, hour and 15-ish away from school so it takes me a little while to get here in the morning so I wake up super early and make sure I can get some stuff done in the morning so that I'm ready for the day. Um, I did do a pretty well I want to say a pretty big clean because the room was so messy um, it's still a little bit messy so I'm going to do an even bigger clean today we've got a lot going on today so I'm going to update that board um, we are deep in <laughs> term four assessment period um, my SLSO has actually been away because she has been on holidays and been sick so um, it's been really super duper duper busy a little bit stressful um, just trying to get reports in sorted on time I do have about I, well not about I have 31 kids um, so it is a lot to get through right assess mark um, and make sure you're catering for all learning needs in the classroom as well at all times so it's a really busy time. I know lots of teachers are feeling it. I know lots of teachers um, get stressed around reporting period, especially when other people write on like Instagram, like I'm done. And, and that's great. And we should definitely celebrate to those people that have finished, but it is stressful to read that other people are done and you are not. So please, if you are not done, if you are nowhere near done, do not stress. We've still got a few weeks to go and you just do what you can do. Keep your head above water and try not to have a little cry because around this period I'm always like like I just can't get it done um, but I've been pretty good this period I think I've got it down pat um, after being on year four for a few years now and just kind of knowing how the process works um, having comments that I know how to write now it's not like a new concept to me um, I've kind of developed a writing style and because you know your kids so well it kind of flows out of you you can you know what to say um I found like in my first year first semester I was like oh my gosh what do I even say I feel like I don't know them well enough and you do you do know them well enough you just kind of need to put those words to laptop 
and get it done. Um, my arms are very sore <laughs> from holding this. I've actually hurt both of my wrists, which I think I said in the last vlog, or maybe I didn't. I don't know if I uploaded that one. It was really shaky because my wrist was so sore. Um, but I'm going to do my best to show you kind of around today. It is messy. It is not what my room normally looks like. Um, not that it's always clean at all. It just like there's not as many displays up and we're wrapping up for the end of the year. So there's not as much going on. But there is also a lot going on in the way that we're planting plants. We're building projects. We're doing lots of end of year like open ended tasks, assessment period. Um, I am going to try and film parts of lessons today. Obviously I cannot film the kids. Um, I can sort of film me doing maybe like explicit parts of the lesson, but not me working with the kids. So it's not that I don't work with them and I just stand up the front and talk at them. Um, that's just kind of the only parts that I can film and make sure that everyone is, um, not being put on the internet. So yeah, I'm trying to show you what I do kind of. It's never really a true insight because obviously I can't share everything. I have to blur stuff out, etc. But um, I'm gonna do my best to show you a day in a life of a year four Australian school teacher. Enjoy. So the first thing I kind of do is head on to my computer and check my emails. Um, I've made myself a cup of tea in the staff room, put my food away. And I'm going to get into this. I'm going to have to like blur the screen so you don't see, um, obviously, everything that I do. Um, but yeah, I'm going to try and just kind of show you roughly what my morning will look like. I do have a meeting at 8.30 this morning and I do need to pick up some things for that meeting to show about Talent Quest because I'm sending home all the notes and stuff for that today. And oh, there's just, there's absolutely so much to do. So I'm going to try and smash it out. And I'll talk to you a little bit later. So something I do do in the morning is pull up the attendance on Central and they pull up like a little thing you can put on your screen and kids can just come in and tap their names. We do have a lot to get through today. I have a meeting right now, so I'm gonna head to that. Um, it's just a quick way of doing the role um, without having to call out everybody's name as much as I love doing that as well because I think it's really important to acknowledge each individual person and say good morning but if we're really really busy like we are going to be today um, I think it's just like a good way to smash it out I don't know where things are because I packed it up and I put it somewhere all right off to my meeting I'll see you a little bit later okay so I'm back from the meeting and luckily it actually finished early today so I have some time before class I'm going to quickly update what we're doing today I clean out my pigeonhole, get us sort through all that stuff and get ready for the day. So I'm not exactly sure how today's going to go, how long things are going to take because we do have lots of assessments to smash out today as well as planting our plants. I'm going to quickly book the laptops and then go and speak to another teacher about getting those plants organized to plant. Very exciting but stressful. Okay, I'm going to go get those plants. <laughs> So putting that all in. This is something for our group. Oh, that's lovely. Wow. Good job. Love that. We can put that with that. So this is my current sink situation. I've got all of our seedlings ready to go. The kids have been building their own greenhouse to keep it safe in the class. Well, not in the class, in the school. So no one treads on it, no bush turkeys, brush turkeys get to them. Um, and I think we're just gonna keep them in the sink until we pot them. And then even after we pot them, keep them in the sink for a little while and take them out for daily sunlight. Um, otherwise I'm a bit worried that some siblings may knock them over <laughs> or try to touch them or ruin them in some way. So. That's going to be a big job today and the kids are so excited and when they get so excited sometimes um, it kind of makes it really hard to teach because they're so excited and so engaged that they actually don't listen to what you're saying <laughs> and that's when things can go wrong. So if they're too excited and they pull it out and ruin the roots or something, that would be really sad and I don't love that my Promethean board turns itself off after like 20 minutes because if you put it on in the morning then you have to turn it off again. Oh my God. Hey guys, so I've just eaten lunch. I just, I'll put in a little clip of what I ate because I was in the staff room and I didn't want to film in the staff room, obviously. Not that you need to know what I ate, but I don't know. This is day in the life, you can see what I ate. Um, I'm just writing out some awards now for assembly. It is lunchtime. I do not have a duty today, which is like amazing because I have a duty every other day. So I'm gonna get some work done just now. I've got like 
I don't know, not long, 15 minutes to get some work done after I just scoffed down my food. And then, um, yeah, we planted all our plants, as I showed you before, after, and we did some assessments, but I'm going to need to do more assessments, which is so fun. Um, and then we've got assembly, and then the end of the day will just depend on how much work we get done, but it's all fun in year four. Okay, so I finished the awards. I'm going to go and put them where they belong. Um, probably go to the toilet, which is just charming. Um, what else do I need to do? Oh my gosh, so many things. Get my laptop organized with the questions for the assessment. Um, yeah, fine. All right, I've just realized I need to run off some more notes for the talent quest. So I'm going to go and do that now. I also realized there is a mistake on the note, so I can't really deal with that now. They're all so something I am going to do is move the furniture around a little bit so that the standing desks are facing the wall and then put the plants on them because they are not surviving in the wind today and potential rain. So I'm quickly going to set that up before the bell goes in three minutes. Don't you love after you move furniture, you find all of this stuff underneath furniture. That's disgusting. Forest. All right, guys, we survived a day in a life with the kids. Um, I have a meeting this afternoon and I'm going to quickly rearrange some stuff in my room. I've got like five minutes um, because I have moved the standing desks up over here to put our plants on. So we're not going to use the standing desks now because um, they're going to be our little plant holders because out in the elements they were getting destroyed so that means that I'm going to rejig this back area and clean it up a little bit so people can use that instead just as a hint to always face them towards the board or anything that you're instructing from I know that most like future focus classrooms don't necessarily have like a front point because you teach from all different areas but I think if you're going to do some instruction using the board then make sure that you just face towards it otherwise it's going to look very silly with everyone turned around and I feel like it just captures their attention a lot more. So if you're setting up your classroom for the first time, make sure that you put, if you're doing your like collaborative desks, um, like a six kind of seater one, instead of putting another one on the end or putting that one on the end, then you have your back facing the front. And I know you're not meant to have like a front necessarily, but let's be honest, I have a front. So I'll probably just put in the rest of our scores from our assessments today sort out this whole filing system it's just turning to mess it's meant to have like a marking tray a filing and an action tray but at the moment it's just a messy tray um i do have a meeting in like five minutes hold on i have a pl session so that's professional learning um and that goes for about an hour every wednesday sometimes it's longer sometimes it's shorter today it's an hour so i'm taking some snacks so i'm going to go and do that now it's pretty much where we learn new things in teaching or we learn to do something that our school's implementing I'm gonna go and do that now and then I'll check back in with you at about 4.30. So all, all these most uh, were repeated throughout the stages as we Hey guys, so I just got home from school. I accidentally left my camera at school, which was really silly. So I'm just using my phone. <laughs> Bryce is home, but he's hiding. I don't know if he wants to be on camera. Why are you high? I'm laughing at you. Why? <laughs> I know, which was so silly. Like doing day in a life. It's like, why is it so hard? Like, anyway, um, but pretty much this afternoon I had my professional learning and then I came back to my room and totally forgot that we had um like band in my room which is like when a like private tutor comes in and teaches like instruments to the kids and I totally forgot and that was so noisy and I tried to get some work done which you'll see I'll put like a little clip here um but it was so noisy and I was just putting in marks and I was like I can't do this I just need to go home so I like quickly got out of there and got on the next train and realized I left my camera behind Anyway, I'm home. Um, Bryce is actually going to football tonight, so I'm going to make myself a very nutritious scrambled eggs for dinner because um, I can't be bothered to make full dinner for one person. And I'm just going to get some more work done. Can you just stop? Can you be in it? Or what are you doing? 
You're being weird. Why are you talking to yourself? I'm not even here. Okay. Um, he's just like standing behind the camera when he could easily just be on it. I don't want to be on it. Okay. <laughs> um, so I'm just going to make that now, get some work done, and then probably have an early night because I'm roasted from today. Just buggered. My throat is really, really sore if you can't hear. And it is hot and it is gross. And I just want to go to bed because I'm really tired and we did a lot today. So I laid down after I had dinner. I haven't got back up yet and I have a lot of work to do. Like crazy amounts, but I'm just like, I'm still tired. <laughs> and now I have a headache because it was such a big day. So I'm gonna lie here, watch some Wizards of Waverly Place because I just got, ah, hold on, my hand can't hold this. I'm gonna watch Wizards of Waverly Place on Disney Plus because I just got Disney Plus <laughs> and I don't know, just take half an hour off and then I'll go and do some work, but my brain is hurting so much. So I've finally gotten off the couch. I'm going to mark some tests and put in some scores and do some work. So I'm going to put it on another time lapse now. What I'm doing right now is I'm sitting on Markbook, which is a program within Central, which helps you to do like assessments. So you put in all the scores and then you do the waiting for the test. So if like everyone did really, really well, maybe the test was a bit too easy, you can like wait it. If it was really, really hard, you can wait it. Um, so you get that bell curve when you're doing reports. Oh, it's such a fun job and it makes it so easy when you have to click into each individual one. So just doing it all together. Why do they do that? Why do they make life hard? I don't know. Um, so I'll probably do this for another like half an hour or so. And then honestly, I want to go to bed, but I think I'm going to have like a bath tonight just to like chill, get rid of like the headache and the sore throat that I have maybe. And I'll just, well, I'm going to keep working for a little while. So I'm just going to turn off the time lapse because it's stressing me out because I feel like people are watching me. <laughs> I feel like I have to work really hard. And I'm like, oh, I just want to chill, watch with the Fly Blue Place and input my scores. And what's the time now? It's eight o'clock. So I've pretty much been working. So by the time I got to school today for over 12 hours now, well, that's a lie because I had dinner and like breaks and stuff, but I've been working a long amount of time today an update i'm now writing a newsletter article and getting some quotes from kids who sent them to me today and putting together photos making sure everyone has permission to publish fun times it is now 8 30 and yes i'm still working just a fun hack for you if you're writing newsletters like a blurb that is similar to last year's go to last year's newsletter and copy it and change some detail teacher hack you gotta make your life as easy as possible i think that's like the trickiest thing about teaching you have to figure out ways to be clever work smarter not harder because there is so much work to get through that you can't possibly do it all um so that's what i'm trying to do now but it won't load which is so stupid load computer i'm getting frustrated it's 8 30 i need to go to bed like literally in bed by 8 30 is what i'm normally doing Okay, I've been talking to the girls in our year four and stage two group chat and we've decided it's enough work for one night. So I'll go into light so you can see my face. I'm going to head up now and have a bath, I think, which will be nice. And then probably go to bed because I'm so tired. Bryce is still at football and it's like 8.40. So hopefully he'll be home soon and we can hang out, watch a movie and then go to bed. Well, not watch a movie. I'll fall asleep because I fall asleep in the first five minutes of every movie. So I seriously needed to clean out that bath. That was so gross. I just quickly cleaned it. And I'm finally going to hop in once it's done filling. Check out my phone cover, by the way. It's real doing I'm fine. So I've just taken off my makeup and I'm thinking that Bryce is home. Yes, that is a basketball hoop on my bathroom door. Don't get me started. Um, <laughs> I'm going to go to bed now and I'll see you in the next one. Thank you for liking, subscribing, following me on Instagram, all those things, and for watching this one, thank you kindly.